Hi, um, just thought I'd get this video blog thing going. Um, it's my intention to try and post a video uh, from the mountains of China um, whilst I'm away um, to let everybody know how I'm doing um, and to keep a record of how it was for me. So, if you're watching, thank you. Um, don't turn off yet. Try, just bear with me for a minute. I'm not very good at this stuff, but I'm not very good at cameras. I'm not very good at looking at, that, at a camera. I, I haven't got very good eye contact, so um, bear with me. I just thought I'd start by saying thank you to everybody that sponsored me so far. I'm, I'm hugely touched by everybody that's from whatever you've given me, um, it will make a huge difference to Canine Partners. They are such a small charity and they do such amazing stuff. Um, if you haven't already looked at them, um, I'd urge you to go to www.caninepartners.org.uk and check them out. Um, amazing, really amazing. So um, we've to raise £20,000 to um, provide someone with an assistance dog. Um, <laughs> I'm at 10% at the moment. Um, I'm going to do it. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, it's in here now and I, I have to do it. I really do. Um, I feel really strongly about that whole thing. I pledge to do it. I'm going to do it. That's it. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to do it. So, um, a year ago, uh, I started this journey. Um, I was two years sober when I when I started this journey last year, which was great. Uh, it took me a couple of years to sort of get my life organised and get myself sorted out before I could move on and do something like this. So, as I sat down on the couch eating a bag of donuts last summer holidays, I flicked on this program um, uh, called Fat, A Year to Save My Life, um, or Fat, The Fight of My Life, I can't quite remember it, um, and I watched it, uh, there was about eight episodes and I watched them back to back, I was like, wow, amazing, another donut, and as I went on, I stopped eating the donuts and I put them down. Um, it had a huge, massive effect on me. It got right in here and made me realise what I what I could be capable of, and that I needed to stop feeling guilty, stop blaming me, whoever, and get on and have the life that I deserve to have, that everyone deserves to have. And the guy that got me off the sofa, really, was uh, was Jesse Pavelka. Um, he's he's a US fitness trainer that deals in um, extreme weight loss and um, uh, morbidly obese people. Um, he's quite a young guy. He's only early thirties, and um, I had the pleasure of meeting him. Um, I've met him a couple of times, but I did. I got to spend the day with him this year um, and and it was it was a real journey for me um, it was it was about stripping you down emotionally and and building you back up and giving you a toolkit to go out and try and deal with these things on your own so about look about yeah it's about looking at prob about your issues in different ways um, and it opened my eyes um, and it was amazing um, going back to September, he was the guy that really got me off the sofa, um, just through the power of TV. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, started the gym with, uh, with Bond Fitness, uh, with Steve and Andrea. Uh, can't thank them enough for their time and their energy with me. Um, they never once thought that what I was doing was stupid. They... They always 
encouraged me, always made me feel welcome. Um, it was a it was a really good start. It was a really good, um, you know, I made really good progress while I was with them. It was great. Um, I felt that in the year I needed to set lots of milestones to keep me motivated, and so um, to, with inspiration from the show that I'd watched with Jesse, um, I did uh, a triathlon. I booked a triathlon. Couldn't swim. <laughs> How mad is that? Uh, it's probably one of the maddest things I've ever done. Uh, yeah, couldn't swim, um, couldn't run. There was no chance I was going to run. Jesus, at 20 plus stone. Very difficult to run at 20 plus stone. Um, and I hadn't been on a bike for years. So, anyway, so I'd got this for May, booked it, booked for May, um, and, and I had to get there. I had to do it. Now, the only type of swimming that I could do was, was this one? Are you doing that? And you just keep your neck uh, and you don't get your hair wet, that one. Um, but it had always been my lifelong dream. And I did dream of it. I used to wake some mornings dreaming of the fact that I could swim. Um, and I wanted to do that. I wanted, I wanted to swim properly. I really, you know, I wanted to do it. And I tried and tried and tried. And I tried a few years ago to do it and I couldn't do it. I'd had swimming lessons with some bloke and I couldn't do it. And, uh, and I thought, oh, useless, you know. Um, but my son's swimming coach um, was amazing. So Deborah Huggett, if you're listening to this, you have got the patience of a saint woman, I tell you. You've been amazing. You have touched my life in so many different ways. But you've changed my life because you've given me such an amazing gift. I don't think you realise that. And I, I really don't know how to tell you that. So thank you so much. You... It's amazing. Thank you. So I learnt to swim. I wasn't very good. Uh, and I uh, initially wasn't very good. I don't know whether I'm that good now, but we try. Um, uh, and got on the bike and uh, did the NHS Couch to 5K programme and learnt to run. I say run. Mm, I don't know. Not, not very fast, but, um, but I love it. I love it. It's... Um, it's a real head en enema, you know, it's a real, it sorts your head out, it's brilliant. Um, come back feeling refreshed, gets rid of a lot of stress. Um, it's great, really good, really enjoy it. So I went off and did this uh, triathlon. Jesus, I tell you, I I'm hooked now. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. I feel like I've wasted so many years procrastinating and doing nothing about it or having failed attempts at doing things about it, um, you know, and now I've found something that I just love, I, I love it, I, the excitement of the, the buzz of the whole thing, I mean I wasn't great, I, I came in right near the end, but I wasn't last, and, and that was brilliant, um, you know, the aim was that the marshals were still there and that I'd finish uh, and that I'd finish without medical intervention and I'd managed all of those so I was quite pleased with myself didn't get a medal though, never mind so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and do that next year because I really enjoyed that um, and it's good for to have a goal to fix on so I'm really pleased with that so all good so so now I've got Seven days till I go to China. We've come all this way. Seven days till I go to China. Six and a half stone lighter. I can't tell you how much happier I am. I hope you can see that in my face. Lots of people say they can see it. I don't know. Um, I am so much happier. I've, I've learnt to understand all the things that are really important. And, uh, and all the things that are not. I have really re-evaluated my life and I've really um, taken some drastic, drastic steps to, to change. Um, and it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. But I really want to enjoy the rest of my life. I, I didn't want the rest of my life to be like what, where I'd come from. I didn't... I can't ever go back there. It wasn't. It was 
parts of it were too toxic and I and it saddens me and, and I understand there's nothing I could do about what's happened but I can do something about going forward and um, I have a great life now um, I haven't finished my weight loss um, I've got another three and a half stone to go but, but I will do it and I'll do it by the end of the year um, I'm totally committed to that when I come back from um, China um, strength training um, and I can't wait I'm, I'm really excited to not have to cycle um, I'm really excited about that so um, that's good <sighs> China. I keep reading the information about how steep it is and how far it is and how long we have to climb and what the altitude's like and I'm not very good with hills. That's really a bit of an understatement. If I could if it was in Amsterdam, I'd be fine because it's flat. But I can't do hills, I can't get the gears right, I can't Oh, I don't know, it's so frustrating and I just go blah, 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 like that and I'm oh it's so frustrating. I've just got to do my best, I think. But there are other things that are really stressing me out, like, what side of the road do they cycle on? I, do you know, I haven't got a clue. Can't do a left-hand signal. If I put my left arm out, I wobble on the bike, and I'm likely to fall off. Probably not the best. I can't seem to rectify it. And then... I don't know any Chinese yet either. You know, there's a few things I wanted to be able to say, like hi and bye and thank you. Um, Americano with pouring cream. Just the essential things, that's all. Just the essential things. Um, and I can't, because I'm too busy with my work and I'm too busy training and I'm too busy with life and... <laughs> Um, it's busy, but it's good. <laughs> so, uh, seven days, and I'll be on the plane to Beijing. And I'm scared. But I'm hopeful. And I think the optimism <laughs> Will get me ultimately. Will get me get me through. Um, and the thought that I'm not only doing this for me, I'm doing it to raise all this money for somebody that really, really needs it. I'm so lucky. I've got my legs and my arms and my mobility and my health. How, how lucky is that? You don't realise how wealthy you are. When you have your health, you just don't realise it. When you haven't got it, I can't, you know. <laughs> These people really need our help. They really need our help. So, if you haven't donated, and, and you think you can, even if it's the cost of your latte this week, or your newspapers for the week, or, or something, please, Please, do you think you can donate for me? Hi, um, sorry, we got cut off there. Um, so, where'd I get to? Oh, there'll be two videos stitched together now, so I, I do apologise for that. Um, I got to the point about if you could donate, um, and if you were able to help um, raise this 20 grand for my charity. So, um, my site is www.justgiving.com slash Sharon hyphen little hyphen Wheatley or you can go to um, justgiving.com and search for my name Sharon Wheatley um, there are two people named Sharon Wheatley doing uh, fundraising this year one of them is going up a lighthouse and one of them is going to China I'll leave it to you to decide which one you're gonna support thanks very much night night